Okay, we're going to take a quick break from our scheduled programming. If you're enjoying this podcast and you've gotten any value out of it so far, I have a special request for you. I'm currently writing a book on product team collaboration and I want to get the message out there. So if you want to take a moment and hit subscribe in your podcast app, that would mean the world to me and it would be super helpful in booking better guests, getting better content out there, and getting the message of this book out to more people. So whether you have to pause this podcast or you like multitasking while listening to it, just take a moment and hit subscribe on the show page and show your support. Again, thanks for listening. Now back to the show. I want to talk a little bit more about, I guess, the heuristics of like when to switch over. And I think a lot of that is what game is the product manager playing? Because it, it, it's like, it's what's funny is we have the same goal, but from a role perspective, like success looks different for each role from an accountability perspective. In your opinion, what, I guess if you're to make a job description, but using the game metaphor, if you're, you're describing like a board game, of, dude, this is the game of product. And so we have product managers, product designers, and engineers. And uh, if you're a product manager, you, you have these stats. Like, how would you go about explaining the game of a product manager, product designer, or, and I guess whatever else, like other discipline you have in, in your organization to like, explain, like, maybe to a new hire, like what their role is in the game? Yeah. We really used to track our, our development of this filing product. I think they're pretty straightforward and, and I think they should be immediately apparent, right? Of, we definitely look at conversion, right? Because like I mentioned before, filing as a part of our core thesis, and I'd love to go on this too a little bit to zoom out when we go there of part of our core thesis is obviously that tax filing is a very arduous process, right? And there are certain expectations from taxpayers right now about how that works and things like that and, and frustrations. And we broadly use conversion as a proxy for that and, and a pretty understandable goal. And that one I think is pretty easy to understand as shared between product and design. One that product tends to be more uh, accountable for is our metrics with partners of utilization, any revenue, and making sure that those kind of more common business metrics are words that we're hitting there. And then the, the one I think that would be new here would be for tax, right? For our tax SMEs, tax products, the actual performance of the product in terms of sound calculation, accuracy and making sure that we are delivering the, the, the quantitative portion or, uh, or calculation portion of, of the product since that really is key. It doesn't break completely cleanly, but you can see a, a, a little bit of design primarily being responsible for experience, conversion, all those things of when you're in, when you as a taxpayer are in there, making sure that one, we're helping you to finish the journey. But there are also some secondary metrics in here for now around like user delight and NPS, that kind of thing product broadly owning the business ones and, and tax owning the actual function of it and making sure that we are satisfying the goal of getting people through accurately, safely, and low risk kind of ways. I'll add on to that. So if you use like the Marty Kagan model, SVPG group, where uh, product is on the hook, like when he says, well, when I go consult and they're like, look at a product team, if the metrics are down on like the business metrics or like sales, like we're not converting sales because no one seems to care about this offer. He's I'll go to the product manager be like, what happened? And if the conversion rates are down or like basically the ability to complete a task, usability is down, I'll go to the product designer and say, what happened? Mm -hmm. And then if it doesn't work and it's buggy, it's like you go to the engineering, what happened? And yeah, like, I think the, what I've noticed is that when it's time for me to drive as a designer and right, it's also like, you have to turn it on and off where it's turned on. Okay. I need to push here because the goal is efficiency or something like that. Or the goal is try to figure out like intuitiveness and stuff. I turn it on and I push a little bit more and, and where I've really failed in my career is I always feel like I had to be pushing all the time mm. because I'm a go-getter with ADHD. Apparently that's <laughs> why the, but like learning to be like. Oh no, the goal here is to set up like business SOPs and kind of test if a new process and system will work. Like I need to advise, but like I need to st stick back, but I need to let the product manager figure out what success looks like first and let them drive, right? Because my, like my job is to support the product manager in that scenario. My job is to support the product manager until they feel like confident enough to commit to a bigger bet 
And then yeah. when that happens, work towards making that bit as successful as possible. And then ob- there's the obvious, obvious like artifacts, right? The product manager is eventually has to be like, what are we doing and in what order and why? And then the designer has to be like, okay, how are we going to do what from a, like a customer facing lens? Like, how's the customer going to get value from this and why? And ha- why? So it's like a type of how, and then the engineer is like, how are we going to do it and when? Because we have engineering resources, blocks and everything like that. For me, I feel like that's what the game is for each one, or at least the collective game and the roles in the game I, is like Dungeons and Dragons, which I've never... <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Yeah. It's building a party, right? It's building a balanced yeah. party and, and, and making sure that people have enough overlap, right? Because you need people to be able to understand each other and, and be able to operate in each other's spheres a little bit, but still specialized enough that you're getting the benefit of people who truly know their expertise and can, and also just bring a different perspective. Yeah. I think that's definitely the, our structure. And that's how I've thought about products, my entire product career. Mm -hmm. And I think where we are, we have a really interesting challenge, right? If I were to zoom out a bit, like we have this challenge between competing on the competing on the, the, oh, sorry, I, not, not competing so much as again, zooming out to this larger game, right. Of looking at the product level game of, okay, we want to compete in tax filing, right? This is a known market, right? I, I don't know if you would characterize it as mature in the U S but it certainly has its known incumbents. And there's a certain way that the U S taxpayer knows that and, and is trained to think about that. And if we zoom out to this larger game that we're thinking about, we're thinking about, okay, how do we attack this? How do we actually enter this market? And it becomes a design and product challenge, right? It's a a big one to think larger of like actually strategic design, right? Not even just product design, or maybe it is. I'm not, I don't know the, the I guess it depends on the game, right? (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, Yeah. You get to this larger strategic challenge, right? Of when we look at the tax market, right? filing is the way it is and it's trained us consumers to be very retroactive about taxes right to think about oh taxes is is a pain they're always going to be a pain but they they are a pain that i do once a year and i look back on all my things for this past year and if i put numbers in here that's it and one of our top level hypotheses is it it shouldn't be that way it should be planning forward right it should be you think about the actions you're going to do or you get advice on oh i am going to sell this house, or I am going to invest this way or change, change my bank or something like that with the knowledge of what tax consequences or tax implications or how that changes your situation. And one of our hypotheses around that is that user experience is very important, right? Because you, that that's one of the ways that people are actually going to engage with it, but then being partner driven as opposed to being direct consumer and all these other methods. Yeah. Back to that level of, to that multiple levels of the game and kind of figuring out how you want to play the kind of thing.